Hey everybody, let's make it pop. It's Matthew Reinhardt here, and today we're gonna make a really cool pop-up elephant. Oh, I love elephants. They're my favorite animal in all the world. So let's get started. First, we're gonna download the templates for this pop-up onto cardstock. You can use any color you like. There's two pages of them. And um, on the templates, you're gonna see there are two types of black lines. There are solid black lines, and there are dotted black lines. The dotted black lines are gonna be where we make folds, and that's what's called scoring. So we're gonna use a ruler and a large paper clip and we're gonna rub the paper clip along each of the dotted lines using our ruler to keep um, our lines straight when we do that. And the reason why we're doing is that scoring um, all those uh, dotted lines helps make the folds uh, work a lot better. So they'll fold a lot easier and your paper will know where to fold. So very carefully follow along where all the dotted lines are. By the way, this is my this is my friend, um, this is Kirsten and she's gonna be helping me out. She's the hand, she's giving me a hand. <laughs> Although she has a little band-aid there. Oh, she got a little hurt. Gotta be careful, right? All right, so we're gonna finish scoring all these dotted lines. And the next step is we're gonna we're gonna cut using a pair of scissors all of the solid black lines. So just follow along, you can cut out the base page, and we're gonna cut very carefully all of the pop-up pieces, including the base page for our pop-up card. Now we're gonna cut out all the pop-up pieces. And sometimes the paper is a little too big to cut from. So sometimes what we'll do, and, and Kirsten's doing it here, she's carefully cutting out some of the pieces just roughly. And then, see, now watch how she's cutting out all these pieces. She's turning the paper as we go around the curves on this one. And see, and we can keep our scissors in the same position very carefully, and then move the paper. It's so much easier. It's so much easier, and, this, and the, the scissors, you can keep them in a, a very good position, and they're comfortable for you. Make sure you use scissors that you like, that are fit just for your hands. Sometimes if you use scissors that are too big, or sometimes you use scissors that are too small, it can be really hard to cut out stuff. So find a pair of scissors that you like, and that are comfortable to you. But you're gonna see that there's a black line in the center of this piece. See that black line right there, that solid black line? We're gonna have to cut that line. Well, this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna fold that piece right in half. Look at that. So now we're gonna pre-fold all of our pop-up pieces. And the reason why we do this, we just wanna make sure that all our pieces kinda of know which direction they're supposed to go. So follow along just as Kirsten has kind of, she see how she's kind of folding everything in these different directions? Just follow along on each. See that one folds shut like that. And we're gonna do the same on this opposite side here. It just helps tell our pop-up uh, pieces which way they're supposed to go. So we're gonna push in that little triangle just like she did right there, look at that. And that goes in just like that. All right, I think it's time to start assembling. Let's get some white craft glue. And we're gonna use this, and this is, you can use any kind of white craft glue that you've got, like Elmer's glue. You could use a glue stick if you like, but um, the white Elmer's uh, or white craft glue works the best. So let's start with this first piece. And you're gonna see those shapes there. Those line up on the base page. You're gonna make sure the center of that piece lines up with the center of the base page. So see how she's glued that one side and it's lined up flat with the base page. And then we're gonna do the other side here. And see how the shape of this little gray area here that we've used and we glued in, it, it matches up exactly with that pop-up piece. Let the glue dry for a minute. Okay, we're gonna glue these ears on. Now see that, that one side? And it matches up exactly with that shape. So that's one ear, and we actually flip over the ear and line up that little gray triangle with that shape. And then on this side, you're gonna see the triangle shape is a little bit longer and bigger. I'm gonna paint some glue within that space. Turn it over, see how, it, see how that, that shape lines up with it? I'm gonna press it down. Now, we're gonna glue this piece here. So, see how that fits onto the head where the trunk is? We're gonna paint in the glue just right there. And we're gonna line up that sort of um, crescent shape just like that. I'm gonna let it dry. So now we have this piece. Now you're gonna see a little triangle there. See that little triangle? See F? That's where that's gonna go. So we are going to glue a little bit onto this triangle just like that where F is. I'm gonna make sure it's in place. You can lift up the trunk a little to see if it's in place. So let's see how it works. This is how it should work. This is this elephant pop-up uses something called a rotator and that makes the head rotate up. See how that is? So that triangle, see how it's attached? 
That's how it should move. Look at that. See how it's on only on that one side, see that? Oh, that's awesome. So the elephant's ears move and its trunk and head move upward. I love it. Look at that. So let's look at it from all sides. There we go. And what do we do once we're finished building it and our pop-up works perfectly? Well, I think it's decoration time. Oh yeah. You can use markers, you can use crayons, you can use colored pencils, you could use, gosh, anything you'd want. You could put stickers on it, you could, you could even use um, uh, glitter or glitter glue or stuff like that if you want, but you have to let it dry. And hey, don't forget to decorate the outside of the card too. Let's look, oh my God, she's done a beautiful job. That's so sweet. Look at that elephant card. Oh, there's even a little mouse. I'm your friend. Oh my gosh, I love it. I think this is my favorite elephant pop-up ever. Hey, if you enjoyed making this pop-up, be sure to hit like and subscribe. And if you wanna see more, give me some ideas. You can go to my uh, website and contact me. You can also go to my other social media, like on Instagram and Facebook, and let me know what you want to make next. Um, but thank you for joining me. And this is Matthew Reinhardt saying, let's make it pop, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.